So about e-growth, uh, uh, as you know, uh, e-growth, the leverage platform, we're the world's first BAD ecosystem. BAD stands for business advisory and business development. The thought process here was that uh, we come across sales and marketing organizations and we come across advisory organizations. And both these organizations, generally, it is the larger enterprises which use their services. The smaller organizations, they generally don't. So I saw this as a void. And that is why we're working on business advisory and development because both of these are requirements. And as small businesses, we can't afford them or that is not naturally what comes to us. So that's why we put this together. All right. We are a dynamic network of entrepreneurs and startup founders. Our mission is to empower and enable businesses. So whether it is by having CEO talks or by creating a platform where you can go and express yourself or creating a directory where you can reach out to other people, we are consistently looking at how else we can create more value for the small business owner. But the small business owner is hard pressed on time, is hard pressed on resources. So within that minimal resource, whether it is time, energy or money, like uh, Peter, you were just saying that you had the choice. So you've, you've given up your walk today so that you can listen to somebody else. Certainly. So, so for me, I need to respect this piece and give you more value. Or you, you've, uh, you've, uh, uh, I would say you've stolen some time from your family, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, yep. so that is where I'm talking about empowering and enabling businesses. And very often the uh, small businesses they are restricted to the local area. It's only now that we've started opening up to internet and to uh, people who are uh, from other regions. And we're working towards that piece as well. So we are a hybrid platform where there's a lot available online and a little bit also available offline. Right? We bring business networking to grassroots level hybrid business development platform. We've got a portal called egrow.org. Uh, I'm sure all of you, all of you have definitely paid the money online. I don't know whether you've completed your profile or not. So I would think your profile is the most important uh, uh, tool. Okay. Uh, uh, immediately after this presentation, I'll take you through how you create your profile on the portal. Some business development services yeah. is market entry, channel expansion, fundraising, recruitment, international business. These services, I don't provide these. Okay. So what we do is we've got specialists on the platform and we can get you connected to them so that your job is done. For example, Peter, he's based in uh, Sydney. Okay. And uh, as of today, he's been doing a nine to five kind of a job and he's planning to get into his own business wherein he will be helping a uh, market entry solutions for the Indian companies and also vice versa, bringing Australian products or services to India. Similarly, we've got some more people. So we're in touch with a gentleman named Fazal who's there in Dubai. There's another person called uh, Atul Kakkar who's in uh, Nigeria. Then uh, Mr. Tapan Kumar, he's from Dhaka. So we're looking at people from different parts of the globe. Kiran Jurani, he's in uh, US and uh, uh, Sanjay Lal, he's in Canada. So like this, we are looking at how we can help you uh, increase the footprint of your business. Second piece, we're talking about personal connect. So e-growth mixers, workshops, conferences, CEO talks, trade shows, whatever is possible, we keep on doing something more so that every day there are more people who, uh, yeah, Anitma, do you want to ask something? Anand sir, you want to ask something? All right, we'll come to that. 
Okay, so like this, we keep on creating more avenues for you to get connected to other business owners. And then we use, I won't say that we use social media effectively, but we use a lot of social media. So we're present on Facebook, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, so that you can definitely remain in touch with eGrowth wherever possible. Okay, this is what the journey of eGrowth looks like. We started in 2014. That was a time when I had a corporate job and I just got uh, interested in the small businesses. I personally come from uh, a family of small businesses. So we've, we've passed three generations. We've been entrepreneurs. I was the odd man out who did his engineering and then uh, uh, got into a job. But uh, around 20 years later, I again came back into entrepreneurship. So I, I, I had seen uh, all the ups and downs in the family and I knew what a typical entrepreneur family goes through. And uh, I have been committed to uh, be a part of the solution rather than being a part of the challenge. So 2014, we started the first workshop was called eGrowth at Biz. And today in 2020, we have a community of around 30,000 business owners who are loosely connected to eGrowth. So through the portal, through uh, Facebook, where we've got around 5,500 users, we've got 50 WhatsApp groups. We also have a LinkedIn community. We are also there on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, right? <clears throat> so you would have seen this logo. So this logo is the, rather this icon, this is the essence of e-growth. The brand values of e-growth are trust, courage, and growth. As you can see, there are three arrows. So we are firing in three directions simultaneously, which is collaboration, excellence, and opportunities. Collaboration is defined by the green color. Excellence is by the saffron color of the Indian flag. And opportunities are defined by the blue color, uh, which is there on the top. Collaboration is the basic, it is the, the, the base rock of any business. That's why it is at the bottom in the icon. Excellence is something which takes your business forward. That is why the saffron color is in the forward direction. And I'm of the belief that opportunities are unlimited. Provided you are looking for them. That is why opportunities or the blue color is at the top and it is pointed upwards. So that is infinite. Blue is also the color of the ocean. Blue is also the color of the sky. Uh, this is the essence or this is the genesis of e-growth, if I would put it, all right? These are some of the images of various engagements that we've done in the past. This image in the middle, this was the first workshop that we conducted on the 1st of November, 2014. Most of the people who you see in this image right now, they are still connected to e-growth. This I would think is the first success story that we've been able to carry the people along. And then uh, these are various mixers or workshops or networking events that we've uh, done at various places. Um, after this, the one of the most interesting events that we had was on the 8th of January, 2017, which we called as the e-growth day. On this day, we had uh, around 100 people who got connected across five different cities. So here we see these two people who met at nine o'clock in the morning uh, in Ahmedabad. So this is on riverfront, Ahmedabad. Around 11 o'clock, we had around 30 people in Mumbai. Uh, this was hosted by Dharmeshtha. Uh, at around 3.30, we had around 30 odd people who met at uh, Gurgaon. Uh, this is uh, my place. We had around 30, 35 people. And then in the evening, around 6 o'clock, we had another 25, 30 people who met at Pune. 
for this, uh, a couple of people they traveled from Bombay to Pune. This was it. And the fifth city was Hyderabad, uh, where four people they met on phone. So they they had a con call at around eleven o'clock in the morning. So like this, we had people who connected at five cities three uh, three and a half years ago. All right. And in 2017, after I quit my job and got into e-growth full time, I went. The first thing I did was I went on a road trip to Punjab. So 15 years, 15 days, uh, in the state of Punjab. And these are the various images. Uh, I also gave a lecture in one of the colleges there, and that got covered in the newspaper. After that, in the month of April and May, I went on a road trip to West India, and uh, these are the images from there. So the one in the middle, this is uh, the road I had in uh, Pune at Maratha uh, uh, Chamber, uh, MCCIA, not uh, IA, uh, Maratha Chamber of Commerce and Industries. And then different places, the so state of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and back. And then uh, uh, we also worked with Startup India for their Uttar Pradesh Yatra in the uh, uh, year of 2018 and 19. These are some images from there. Uh, in 2019, uh, we were a part of a boot camp for the tribals in the state of Jharkhand. So around 35 uh, tribals, uh, they got trained on organic farming and that was also covered in the newspaper. Uh, other than that, I've been a member of TAI and have been working on various initiatives for entrepreneurship. So this on the top left. Uh, is a meeting with the, uh, the Commissioner of Industries, State of uh, Himachal Pradesh in Simla. Uh, the one, uh, this, uh, the one on the bottom uh, middle left. Uh, this is uh, Thai Uttar Pradesh at Kanpur. The one on uh, middle right. Uh, this is Thai Udaipur in Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, the image on the top. This is. Uh, uh, the Dalmia Bharat Group. They have got a series, of, uh, uh, a set of uh, schools. And we did a boot camp for their principles. Uh, bottom left, uh, we have been engaging in doing various activities for women entrepreneurs. So we conducted the third event, which was called as uh, Celebrating Womanhood this year, so 2018, 2019, and 2020. And then on the bottom right, this is uh, the launch of the leverage model, which is a model to design your business well. So like this, we've been doing various activities to promote entrepreneurship. These are some of the images from the uh, various uh, women entrepreneur events that we've been conducting. This was the leverage model. This is some of the media coverage in Hindi, English and Tamil. What is it that we do? We do a lot of active engagement in terms of knowledge sharing, business networking, buyer seller meets, business delegations, the enable entrepreneurship trainings and workshops as well as uh, trade shows. CEO talks, uh, many of you are, have been a part of CEO talks. Those who, of you who are not part of CEO talks, please consider to participate in the CEO talks. Uh, we have these talks uh, during the week, so Monday to Friday. So this is wrongly written here. Monday to Friday afternoon, three o'clock. On uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday, we have a talk at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, as of today, we have completed 144 talks. We started on the 25th of March when the lockdown started in India. Since then, till today, we have had at least one CEO talk every day without fail. On Saturdays, we have a panel discussion and we call that as Industry Connect. There are quite a few industry bodies who have already participated and we'll keep on, uh, if you have uh, some names, you can please recommend them and we'll be glad to invite them. On Sundays, we call that as Sizzling Sunday. This is when we do not talk business. We have conversation which help us bond well. So if we have a relationship, there's a possibility of business happening. If we don't have a relationship, uh, then uh, uh, having a business is near impossible, All right? Uh, you do have an opportunity to speak in the CEO talks. Please get in touch with me and we will see what best is possible, all right? On Fridays, we have, uh, so this is not a part of the CEO talks. This is called as the inner circle. 
inner circle meeting happens early in the morning, eight o'clock to nine thirty. Uh, you have to be a subscriber of the inner circle. As of now, there are around thirty-three members. Uh, the average experience is around twenty-six years. Average age is forty-eight years. Many years experience is around eight hundred and sixty. All right. What is the inner circle? An inner circle is an exclusive structure for B two B enterprise businesses and solutions. Uh, you cannot subscribe to an inner circle. You need to apply for the inner circle. And if we find that the culture matches, then uh, you would be considered to be a part of the inner circle. All right. Uh, so as I shared, we meet every Friday. It is managed by a team. The basic premise is distributed consulting, wherein we can help resolve the challenges of all the members of the inner circle. It is based on peer-to-peer -peer conversations and is a pure online uh, uh, meeting space. The highlights is we work on five elements: opportunities, second-degree contacts, problem solving, knowledge sharing, networking with the industry bodies. Right. This is our portal ego.org. I will recommend that you please explore this portal. This uh, uh, right now we have around eighteen thousand. 400 members already who can create their profile on the portal. There are more than 400 blogs published, there are more than 400 events listed, and there are more than 600 opportunities which are listed right now. Uh, as I shared, we are pretty active on the social media. Our social media handle is egrowth.org. We're there on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, as well as Telegram. Uh, uh, most of you, or rather at least some of you are already subscribed so you please go and uh, create your complete your profile and start leveraging the platform so these are various links uh, to the social media properties i uh, sincerely suggest that you go and subscribe to our youtube channel we've got more than 400 videos right now which have the recording of all the ceo talks and many of the events trainings and workshops that we've done in the past Okay, so this will be a great resource for learning for you. You can also share it with your uh, employees or your partners in business, and it can be valuable for them as well. Right? Uh, now, let us come to how is it that you can subscribe to eGrowth? So, subscription to eGrowth, the very first one is a basic subscription wherein you get a verified profile, you get read write access to the portal, and you can uh, get access to the networking meetings. Second piece is the uh, premium subscription wherein along with your business profile, sorry, along with your personal profile, you can create your business profile, you get access to the first degree contacts, and you can host networking meetings. And the third subscription uh, uh, is the inner circle wherein you have access to inner circle meetings, second degree contacts, and industry connect. All right. Uh, those of you who have not gone in for any subscription so far, I suggest that you become at least go in for a basic subscription. Here, you get access to the curated network, privileged access, online engagement, as well as offline engagement. And on the portal, you can create your personal profile, you can post blogs and articles, you can post your requirements, you can post your offers, you can list your events. And most important, you get the contact details of all the people who created their profile on the portal. And this is uh, priced at only 3000 rupees per annum. And right now we are extending a very special offer. It is at 1508 inclusive of GST. 1508 for 15th of August. All right. Uh, the link is eco.org slash basic hyphen subscription and you will be able to go and complete your subscription right away. Uh, there's a payment gateway which is integrated. Uh, your uh, uh, access will automatically be uh, upgraded the moment you make the payment. Inner circle, <clears throat> the benefits are you get uh, uh, access to the influencer network, premium access, power networking, 52 inner circle meetings, Industry Connect, so you can become a part of delegations and also buyer-seller meetings. This is priced at rupees 30,000 per annum. And right now it is available at only 15,000 rupees plus GST. The conditions here are 
you need to be somebody who has a business which has a national or a global appeal second piece is uh, you need to be somebody who is high on contribution if contribution is something which comes naturally to you then you must definitely consider being a part of the inner circle and we would be glad to have you with us and then uh, grow with e growth you're already a part of it right now so this is a meeting which we plan to have every friday so that we can keep on sharing more insights about how you can leverage from e growth this was a little bit about e growth you can remain in touch with us okay i am available on atul at egrow.org uh, you can write to me uh, ronika who is our community manager she is available on 89209265565 all right so this was a little bit about uh, e growth any questions so far and welcome to the new uh, joiners who joined uh, during the uh, presentation any questions uh atul yeah uh this this 15000 sort of an annual subscription you are you are you are talking about um uh, which is initially 30 and then you have you have made it to 15 yeah uh means uh you covered saying that someone who has uh, got a lot of things to share across yeah uh, what what exactly when you say share across I mean does it does it means to say uh, giving sort of a knowledge to the wider community or uh, or or a business which can deliver or benefit to the to the wider community so so i am talking from the perspective of the personal traits of the person okay okay so you could be somebody who is a seeker so typically in the networking lingo they call somebody being a hunter a farmer and in e growth we also use another term which is called as weaver so are you somebody who goes to somebody and simply starts asking please give me this give me this give me this if you are somebody of that kind we would not like to have you in the inner circle you are most welcome to be on e growth keep on uh, building your network okay on e growth we are uh, consciously looking for people who are want to contribute to others this is not necessarily that it is only your knowledge it can also be your contact it is also uh, uh, you could be a coach and you give your listening to somebody right by That's just by right. virtue of listening you can contribute to somebody that is what i mean by contribution yeah i got it thanks for that yeah and as i said there are hunters there are uh, farmers and then there are weavers weaver is a term which you may not have generally heard so hunter is somebody who will go and immediately try to get a deal for tomorrow or day after or this month a farmer is somebody who will cultivate that relationship so uh, he will listen to the person he will contribute to the person he will give some leads ask for some leads this is how generally uh, farming would happen and if you look at a weaver a weaver has the skill set a weaver also has the know how okay on top of it he also has a process so there may be certain scenarios where the weaver he is not going to be benefited either directly or indirectly he will simply get two people connected right for example now peter you may be able to contribute to say mr vijay goel there is nothing for me to be made but for me i know that if you guys meet there would be a hundred other business owners who can benefit from it you get what i'm saying hello hello atul i got it very clear thanks for that yeah yeah, yeah. Any, for the others as well I means it was uh, i just took yeah. your name but this is for yeah, everybody no, that's it. all right any other so uh, uh, vishnuji you want to ask something no i just uh, i've been an active listener all the thank time you. Just, thank i'm you. just trying to, i'm just trying to understand what exactly it is 
good. Uh, Vishnuji, where are you from? I am from the basically. Um, who's this? Atul ji. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 As, I am. As, as I assured you, I started bringing Hyderabad people. To Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, in I, fact, I, I, I would also, uh, uh, Anandji, I will also share uh, somebody's uh, number with you. He's already a member in uh, Hyderabad. He's an architect. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I'll get him introduced. So, thank yes, you. Okay. So, thank so you. I know a little bit of Telugu, and it is Chalani Niru. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just tell me. You know, I just tell about myself. Yeah, please, uh, please. A small, not. small brief. Yeah, please. Uh, this I completed thirty-one years of. my service in fmcg and electronic media wow right? uh, i was with horlix i was with servicol and i was heading south uh, branch manager for uh, uh, raj television network limited so all the 31 years after wow. that i started my own business which is into security surveillance and i am a consultant for home automation south india this is a small brief about my this fantastic So Vishnu, uh, we've got uh, uh, one of our members. Uh, he is uh, Saurabh Khanna. Okay. He is the national sales head for uh, um, Uniview, which is a CCTV IP CCTV brand, which is the fourth largest brand across uh, the world. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should get in touch, and uh, that could be helpful for you. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I spent around uh, seven years with HID, which is into electronic security. So mm -hmm. maybe I can contribute somehow to your business. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Yeah, um, yeah. And Anand Kumar ji, thanks a lot uh, for coming in and also inviting. Uh, and Vishnu, I understand you're from Hyderabad, right, or elsewhere? I'm very much from Hyderabad. All right, fantastic. Which part of Hyderabad? I Sainik Puri. Sainik Puri. Okay, I would not do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm basically from born and brought up in Indore. I'm not a person from this place, okay. but settled here, totally settled. All right, here. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. uh any other names uh, mr mandar uh, yeah uh, anand ji you want to say something anand ji you want to say something no no okay uh, mr mandar yes hi hi uh, where are you uh, from and you please just introduce yourself uh i am from nasik and okay. uh, basically i am from industry 4.0 sector so we develop uh, vision based quality inspection systems uh -huh. along with uh, uh, ios android apps and other software development so the prime vertical is industry 4.0 solutions with vision based quality inspection and software okay. services okay and so who operate from who, so who would be typical customers for you uh it is the manufacturing industries who are looking for vision based solutions for their quality department where right. uh, skilled labor is the primary limitation for them oh, okay fantastic i think lest uh, everybody i know let me take uh, another maybe uh, 10 minutes and take you through the, the portal within that we will take only the um, profile portion today all right great yeah just give me a moment so this is what the Uh, egro portal looks like egro.org the home page so as you can see on the top there is a ticker which gives the names of the uh, people whose birthday is there today so this is a way of uh, allowing you to get in touch with the people so now imagine if you just uh, uh, go to uh, anuj jain and wish him a happy birthday this will be a great opportunity for you to create uh, um, a bond with him right so that was the thought process uh, for giving this uh, ticker uh, in the home page itself okay second uh, a very warm welcome to the bbng family and then we keep on putting some uh, messages we are also talking about the ceo talks and also about the offer which is there right now 
so as you can see right now we've got uh, 18459 uh, people who create their profile here there are 409 blogs which are published there are 420 events listed and 631 opportunities which are listed here right now uh, here are some reasons why you should join egrowth so opportunities networking communication advisory rewards uh, these are the upcoming events. So there are three of these events. So the current CEO talk uh, uh, right now, uh, it's already listed here. Uh, there's another event here, Cross Business Boundaries present by Ek Sham Azadi Ke Naam. Okay, and then there is world's largest webinar coming uh, day after, tomorrow on 15th August. And then on the right hand side, uh, we see uh, two of the up, uh, latest uh, blogs. And you can uh, always go to the uh, to see the rest of the blogs. Okay, and here are some testimonials, and here are some of the partners. Okay, now uh, uh, since we I, we'll be covering only the profile right now, so let me just take you directly to the profile. So you go to login. Now you can log in using the social uh, icon, uh, media. Or you can key in your email ID and your phone number and password. This is how you can create your profile. Else you can simply put in your email ID and your password and then you can sign in. Okay. So for uh, to make it easy, I will use uh, Google login. So I select my uh, email ID. And I've logged in. So the moment I've logged in, um, it says welcome back atul puri you have 1315 points since my profile is complete it is not talking about the profile being incomplete else it would have given me a message that your profile is incomplete please complete that All right here on the top right you can see there is a, a, an information okay a notification it says that oh, okay it says wow there's a new event uh, fight back with double immunity and so so this is how I get to know which are the latest events or uh, latest uh, notifications So these notifications I are system generated and are from the people who are who are connected to me all right and If in case there is a new notification of a new person joining me uh, that uh, in, uh, connection and that is the uh, notification which I get over here and this is my briefcase. So my account, my company, my testimonials, my points, uh, my subscription, I can invite a friend. I can simply click this. And I can invite a friend, put the person's name, his mobile number and email ID and submit it. And this person would get a message from our side or you can use this link and share it on any of the social media to invite more people to egrowth okay so every time you invite somebody uh, you make points and these points can be redeemed against uh, some benefits on egrowth all right and then you can also manage your blogs from here you can manage your events you can manage your connections preferences your opportunities inquiries this is my circle and I can change my password and log out from here for today. Let us just go to my account. So this is what my profile looks like. And this is what a hundred percent completed profile looks like. Okay. On the top, there is the name of the person, uh, a single line explanation of what it does. And here's the description of what I put for myself. My photograph the subscription that I have and you can see that right now I'm able to see the obviously this is my own so that is why I'm able to see the email ID as well as uh, the mobile number but I will just show you in some time that you are able to see the contact details of all the other people as well it also tells me which city am I from my date of birth and you would notice that these things are verified okay to add to this, these are my social media uh, uh, linkages. So this is my Facebook link, so which will take me to Facebook page. Okay, so this is like one place from where uh, a person can read about you and build enough trust to do business with you. So government IDs, I don't have a personal GST, so that is not verified. So my, I've got a PAN card that is verified. My DIN number is verified. 
So when you're creating your profile, you're asked to upload your documents. Once you upload your documents, our backend team, they verify them and that is how you get the tick mark. All right. Now coming to the middle uh, uh, column. This is where you can post your uh, video uh, profile. So for video profile, a simple thing, you have a YouTube video, pick up the YouTube video link and uh, post that here and you will be able to see it uh, over here. Okay. It talks about the opportunities. So my requirements, so I need contact details of president and officials. This is what I've written and this is what I can offer. So my requirements and offers I've listed over here. And then in the business section, there are two things. One is I can list my profession. So I may be a coach or a mentor. So I may not have a company of my own or I may be a trainer or I may have a work from home, any of those kind of businesses wherein I don't have a company so I can list my profession over here. Okay, as a solopreneur. Next is I can have companies. So I have this company called EVN Learning Private Limited. I have uploaded the, the SIN number, so my uh, uh, compliance documents. That is how it is verified that this is my company. It may also happen that I am a director or maybe the head sales or so I'm associated with some other company. I can list that company also, but that would not be verified like this. All right. Next section you see memberships and associations. So here I may be a member of various organizations. So uh, Thai is a charity or a not for profit NGO. So I can, when I'm uh, uh, updating or editing my profile, I can add various associations, which I'm uh, a member of. So I could be a member of Rotary or I could be a member of uh, uh, say, um, uh, Lions Club or any of those, I can list all of them as well. And definitely I am a member of say BBNG Global. And I can list that also over here. Okay. And uh, if you are a member of EBN uh, eGrowth, that it picks uh, by default. So once you're a paid subscriber, it'll show you your membership by default over here. Next section is education, training and recognition. So I may have some recognition or position held. So I may be in certain organization, I may have uh, an honorary position uh, that can be listed over here. So like the, over here, uh, I used to work with United Technologies Corporation and I got this ACE certificate and I've listed that over here. Second section is I may have participated in certain trainings and got the certificates over there. So I participated in certificate in competitive marketing at IM Bangalore and that is what I've listed over here. And beyond this, my college degrees I can list over here. So I have my graduation degree is uh, B from uh, electronic um, from uh, University of uh, Bombay, so Mumbai University. I did my master's from IGNU and that is also listed over here. And I can also list my school. All right. I will just take you through how you can enter all this. And then let us go to the third column on the right hand side. Third column on the right hand side, it gives statistics about uh, your profile. So on the top, it says how many connections this person has how many blogs this person has written. I can click on this and I can go to the blogs that this person has written. So here are the blogs that Atul Puri has written. So uh, uh, I would also like to tell you one thing that I can publish blogs as Atul Puri or I can also publish blogs as EBN Learning Private Limited, which is my company. So I have both the choices. So for example, if I create a look at this, Four steps to create your profile. This is a blog which is published by EBN Learning Private Limited. So I have created that as my company. Okay, this was published on twelfth uh, of April two thousand nineteen. Four hundred ninety-three people have already seen it, and there are various categories. This is uh, the uh, various steps you take to create your profile. Okay. Now let us get back. Similarly, the events that I have listed, the requirements that I posted, offers that I posted, 
numbers of company that I have is one, membership that I have is three. All right, so this is all what you can list in a profile. Okay, now let us come to how is it that you can edit your profile. So you see this edit, mark. okay, another thing, you can share your or anybody else's profile. So just click here and you have the option to share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or WhatsApp. Okay, or simply you can uh, pick the URL and share it with anybody else. Now, let us look at how do we edit it. I simply go here to the edit mark. So this is how you edit your profile. The first one is personal details, your title, name, middle name, last name, gender, about the person. So this was the one line which comes just below my name in the middle column. Summary which comes just below about me. Okay. And then uh, I told you that for the video profile, you simply pick the URL from your YouTube video and post it over here. And this is how your uh, video profile uh, is uh, visible over here. Then there is this section, it says my requirement. So I post my requirement and I can keep on changing the requirement whenever I please. Similarly, I can post my requirement and I can keep on changing whenever I need it. Next is, this is my date of birth, my marriage anniversary, if I want to put it, you can see date of birth is compulsory. So though you are putting the date of birth over here, we are not displaying your year, we are only displaying your uh, date and month. Okay. And then this is where the contact, this is where the contact details are there. Uh, and uh, you can list your primary mobile and you can pro uh, list your secondary mobile. Now, here you see on the right hand side, there is an option to verify. I click on this and there would be an, uh, an OTP and SMS which goes to my mobile and I can uh, uh, put that over here and that gets verified. Okay. So let me see if I've got one. Okay. So this is how you verify your mobile. Similarly, e email, it gets verified automatically. So you get an, if you have joined using the um, social uh, media uh, tool, then it will not send you an email. Otherwise, if you have created it yourself, then it will send you a mail to verify. You click on that and that is how you verify your email ID. Similarly, you can add the secondary uh, email id and in case you have uh, joined uh, uh, egrowth by somebody's reference you can please put his email id uh, else uh, and also if uh, so i showed you that you can invite your friend so if your friend joins in using your referral then your email id would be visible here automatically and that is how you will get those points okay and this is where the GST, your uh, uh, government IDs are, so you can put your GST number, upload your GST file. You can put your uh, PAN card number, upload the PAN card image, uh, uh, put your DIN number and upload your DIN image. Okay. Now this verification, this is system generated. You will not be able to do it. Okay. As you go next, this is the section where you upload, uh, update your address. So by default, the first address is the work address, wherein you put the entire uh, work address. Also, this is where you can put the phone number of your office. This is not your personal phone number. All right. And uh, this is where you put the social media uh, links. So you see, you are putting the entire link. You are not putting only Atul Puri. You are putting https www.linkedin.com slash in. So you are putting the entire URL over here. Only then it will get captured and it will get displayed appropriately on, the, uh, on your profile. So LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. All right. 
next comes residence address that is optional you may or you, you need not put it if you don't want to share it okay next comes education this is where you upload the education piece okay so uh, professional qualification and recognition similarly next one is uh, um, training and certificates after that comes uh, your college and after that comes uh, schools okay so this is how you would update your uh, education piece and last is the business piece now here first piece is the self employed okay here you can give a headline and you can select various categories the so full time employee part time employee work from home freelancer contractor all those things are over here so uh, what uh, everything which fits in for a self employed person is here if at all there is some category to which you belong and that does not get listed here you can please send a message to us and we'll uh, update that all right next comes my company now this is where there is a slight bit of a twist it will show you only those companies which are listed in e growth okay now it's very much possible that your company may not be listed in e growth so to list your company in e growth what you do is you go to the top on the right hand side there is an option to add company i'll just come to that in a moment okay so here what you are doing is you are listing your company and you are also listing what is your designation here in this company all right and this get this reflects in your profile uh, on the front end here is organizations i am a member of so organizations can be different kind of organizations so charity ngo so different organizations are listed under different categories of organizations so suppose i list in a not for profit so not for profit here we've got say tai delhi ncr udaipur or uh, uh, fire security association of india all of them are listed or, or you can see bbn global association is also listed here okay so if i select bbn global i enter a designation my designation say mmber and uh, chapter suppose i say G U R U G R A M. Okay, I say add. Okay, great job. Your details have been added. So B B N Global is here. We will see it on the front end how this looks like. Okay. Now coming to how do you add a company? So you click here to add a company, and it will take you to a new form. wherein you are adding a new company once you add it so similar to the previous the, my personal case here uh, the basic details of the company are filled the name of the company so here slightly more information is required the name of your company trade name of the company your website logo you can upload your designation <coughs> nature of business type of company so when i'm saying nature of business whether you are a commercial business or a trade body you are an international trade body you are a school college university any of those all right next comes uh, um, type of organization so are you a sole proprietor uh, one person company an llp a private limited what are the different kind of organizations those are possible over here okay so these are in line with the uh, the uh, definition of minister of corporate affairs on top of it we put the state government bodies and all the stuff all right next is whether you are a for profit or a not for profit organization and then your facebook link linkedin link uh, twitter link all the stuff you put here and google my business page also you can link over here now here is the roc description what kind of a business are you in you can list over here so and then roc category are you a company limited by shares or a company limited by guarantee if uh, you are a proprietorship company or a partnership company you can simply say not applicable and that should be great next comes business sector so agriculture forestry mining all those different uh, sectors are over here and then there is roc class roc stands for registrar of companies okay proprietorship partnership private one all that stuff is over here then comes authorized capital 
so if you if you are not a listed company you can simply put this value as zero paid up capital can be zero date of registration whenever your company got registered registration authority if you are a company registered with ministry of company affairs then you would be registered with one of the registrar of companies so you can identify that if not suppose you are a society then you would be registered with the registrar of cooperative society of your respective state if not even that you can simply or if you are a college or university you are registered with a department of higher education and if none of that is applicable you simply say not applicable all right then uh, so, so all these uh, uh, options are pretty self explanatory register of authorities we have done number of members listed in a stock exchange yes no last agm and then we are talking about are you a business membership organization so now uh, in case of uh, um, bbn global they are so for that we put yes otherwise it is not for you okay these were the basic details about your business then come specific details specific details is what kind of uh, products are you into in case you are not into products you would go to others and put that as other services okay similarly in the service categories you can list various services that you are into in case you are not into services and you are only into products you can go to others and put other products okay next comes if you have any brands you can list them over here then this is where you can list the corporate office of yours so you call it corporate office registered office head office whatsoever you call it you identify select that and then you give the address of your company over here <clears throat> okay you can also list the uh, uh, list in the sense paste the google maps location over here and that will be picked up by the system okay and here please list the public email id of your company okay these were two things third is the uh, government ids so your registration id or your pan number gst number all those uh, are, there are some 8 9 ids which you can list and then this is the dashboard wherein you can put the banner and everything okay so this uh, all this is something what is captured for your company and that is how your uh, personal profile gets captured now let us go to how do you search people's profile so let me search my own profile a t u l p u r i okay so this is what the profile looks like so i can search on basis of name i can search on basis of company name i can search on basis of uh, industry and i can search on basis of the location so wherein i will put the country state and the city to uh, get the listing so i go to atul purit profile so one difference you would see is that we should have bbn global also listed here under the membership association so those of you who are members of bbn global you please use this and uh, uh, you can display bbn global in your profile okay so uh, let us have some questions now hello was this helpful for you certainly atul thank you anybody else any questions atul ji it was very uh, i was trying to fill up helpful. my profile yeah. yeah and i got stuck up at the level where the company name exactly so so that is what i just explained to you yeah you would right. need to create your company yeah no no that is there but i was wondering whether i should put bvng there or i should put my company name no you should put your company name so you are a member of bvng right yes 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 and also i must tell you one thing hmm. that you may have multiple companies multiple businesses hmm. you can create as many companies as you please ah, that okay that was another uh, question yes. to be asked so so we are not restricting you that you can uh, join e growth only as one category you can have multiple categories 
because myself i have one proprietary one private limited and two ngos exactly please do that please enter those exactly. all right and in case your ngo is a membership organization please remember to tick that it is a a bmo yeah okay only if it is a bmo then somebody else when he is creating his profile will he be able to show it in his mobile in, in his profile that he is a member of that uh, ngo yeah right clear yeah okay clear yeah anybody else any questions so uh, all the yeah, regarding our company uh, those will not be reflected or shared with uh, other viewers just the company name which uh, no so okay let me show you something share so what happens is as a basic member very little information about your company is shared as uh, an inner circle member or as a premium member Uh, there is la uh, more information uh, about your company which is available so this is so as you just saw i clicked on my company's name mm -hmm. and this is what the company profile looks like okay so on the top there is a banner mm -hmm. here i have the logo of the company this is the name of the company and this is a, a single sentence about the company okay i can share this on the social media these are various tabs about my company so it's like a complete uh, shop for my it's like a mini website for my company yeah, so right. so here are wall, wall posts this is about the company so in about the company about us what are we into Uh, uh, my corporate our corporate office our address so i was telling you that if you post uh, if you uh, um, paste the google map uh -huh. just see the magic here this i click here it is taking me to google map so this is the location of e growth office uh -huh. all right so that is also embedded over here yeah next is info at egro so this is uh, i ask you to publish or share your public email id for the company that is visible over here yeah. this is where the website of the company is visible this is where the social media links of the company are available mm -hmm. all right then uh, there was a section where we asked you to put various uh, uh, government ids yes yeah. so registration id we ticked it so uh, uh, i have uh, uh, posted my own registration id so that is why it is ticked over here and then the mission of my company vision of my company purpose motto why us tags everything is listed over here okay so we have tried to make it as elaborate as possible so here we have the option of having a parent company so uh, anand ji this is for you so parent company group company so suppose you said you got four five companies right Yeah. so those companies get seen here as group companies okay mm -hmm. so when you're creating your company you can list those companies over there okay. next is you may have partners so amica sinfotech is an e growth partner rupi boss is an e growth partner and you might also want to list some of your customers mm -hmm. okay the only catch here is as a basic subscriber all these details will not be visible only basic details will be visible all right now here is the people so <clears throat> when i'm saying people so this is the management so if you would have recalled in my profile the against my company name there was a tick that came from here so i am the director of this company and that is verified so it is verified at both the ends now my company uh, there may be various employees so since i have logged in as myself i can add uh, uh, employees so say um, help uh, okay so say ronika so say ronika okay ronika uh, 
is uh, uh, our uh, uh, community manager, C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-M-A-N-A-G-E-R. So she is our community manager. I add it. User added successfully. Okay. So now if you would see this profile, you will see this over here. So in case you want to add your employees, you can add them here or it is not actually supposed to be for partners. In case you want, you have distributors and you want to link to them in this section, you can, in, in the designation, you can list them as partners. So that will be a workaround. Okay. Then this is where you can see various requirements that I, as a company would have published. So when I'm posting a requirement, I can post requirements as a company or I can post requirements as an individual. So when you are visiting this page, you can respond to this. Okay. So here it captures my name, my email ID, and it is, this is a test, test response. So this response will go to me or to the uh, ID of this particular company. All right. So this is how the requirements piece works. And if you, so I, as a visitor, if I have a requirement for this company, I will say I have a requirement, R E Q U R E M E N T test. And I just post it. So this company would get a mail. So thank you. Your post has uh, inquiry. We will get back to you shortly. So this has been a mail to the person. All right. Next is, this is where you can list your products. And this is where you can list your services. This is where you can list your offers. And this is where, where your blogs are listed. And this is where your events are listed. Okay, so all this is connected to your uh, company. Mm. 